What's going on guys, Rob from ClicksGeek, and in today's video we're going to run through an HVAC contractor in a few local towns in Texas. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, check out the playlist, we have dozens of playlists, all kinds of um, PPC case studies, Google Ads training videos, you can learn anything you need to learn about Google Ads on our channel. Again, our channel is called ClicksGeek. Alright, so let's get right into this cut. I don't want to waste your guys time today. So we're looking at an HVAC contractor over the last 30 days. We're actually looking at the last seven days right now, but let's move that to 30. Last 30 days, which was December 15th to January 13th. And you can see here it's an HVAC campaign, which is heating and cooling services, fixing uh, furnaces, air conditioners, all that kind of stuff. They're spending $70 a day. You know, let me fix these columns too. These columns are all screwed up. Hang with me a sec, guys. Move my big head. We don't need that. We don't need that. We're using maximize clicks, by the way, as the uh, bidding strategy. So impressions, clicks, click through rate, average cost, cost, clicks. We don't need clicks again. Conversion rate, conversions, cost per conversion. There we go. All right, just cleaned up a little bit so it'll be a little bit neater look at okay so we got our statistics here seventy dollars a day is what they're spending ideally in H HVAC campaigns I, I would like this to be a hundred minimum but we do what we can with what we have impressions were five thousand seven hundred and forty nine now that may seem really high now that's because we started this campaign using broad match keywords well a mix of broad match exact and phrase to get some conversion data and then we found that um, the, the uh, exact and phrase match keywords were converting better for the client, so we just paused the broad match. So that's why you're going to see impressions this high. Normally, they will not be this high. <clears throat> I think over the last seven days, let's see what the last seven days was, because that's where we had only exact and phrase running. Yeah, 645. Six leads, $48 a lead the last seven days. Now, 25% conversion rate. Now, this is just exact and phrase match. So this, this is just starting within seven days, pretty much, because we switched everything last week. So actually, let's run this off last seven days. All right, so 24 clicks, 645 impressions, 3.72% click-through rate, which is 1% higher than what it was with the broad match, which is good. Average cost per click is $12, which is still okay for this, for this niche. I'm all right with that. The total cost, cost for the client for the week was $288, 25% conversion rate. I'm very happy with that six leads ideally i'd like a little more than six in a week but since it's just getting started there's not really much i can do about that till i have more data to optimize and the cost per lead is 48 dollars, which i'm totally okay with that 50 or under for hvac is a great lead cost all right so let's go into the campaign you're going to see the types of ad groups we have here heating repair air conditioning repair they're all if you'll notice they're all intent type ad groups okay so we're not we're not curious about what the intent behind what someone searches Google for our client. We want to know we want to know what they're searching for. If there's an urgent need, all of the ads, which unfortunately I can't show you guys to protect the client's brand, all the ads talk about you know we have trucks on standby, 24-hour service. We can be there today. We can be there this week. Whatever, depending on what the ad group is. We talk about the keywords are all in the ads for each ad group. So everything's very nice and neatly packaged together. All right, so we have heating repair, air conditioning repair, HVAC installation, HVAC repair, furnace replacement. Then we have a few geo ad groups. They're in Longhorn and Tyler, the client, some of the uh, cities they target. Furnace repair, air conditioning replacement, contractor, services, more contractor, more repair. So that's they're all repair and replacement type intent searches. That's what we're going for, okay? So if we go into HVAC installation... It's going to pull up our keywords in a minute. You'll see here we're all doing all exact and phrase match. They're all intent keywords looking for installation. So people are searching Google for HVAC heating and cooling ins installation keywords. That's what they're searching for. So they have an issue they, or they need something installed. So we know the intent behind the search. All right. So all we're doing then is taking the people who are searching for HVAC installation, showing them an ad talking about, hey, 
Do you need a heating and cooling system installed? Do you need a, some kind of uh, AC unit installed? Whatever. We can help. Trucks on standby. Call right now. Free quotes over the phone. We can schedule it'll be out on site today. Whatever. Whatever your call to action is, is my point. And they're all in sync. So the, the ad groups, the keywords, the ads, and the landing page is all relevant and in sync. And that's how you get these high conversion rates of 20% and above. All right, so if we go into, let's go into one of our ad groups that, so heating repair, see these were added from the search terms, that's why they're not repair keywords. So essentially, we were looking at the uh, data in the search terms report, these two keywords were shown from a keyword that was in this ad group and they converted, that's why they're in here. Ideally, I would only want repair keywords in here. And you'll see if you look at the rest of them, they're all repair oriented. So we know if someone's searching Google for heating and air repair, they have a repair issue. All we got to do is put an ad in front of them saying, hey, have a repair issue. Here's our company name. Here We have trucks on standby. We can be on site today for a free estimate. Whatever your catch is, whatever your hook is. And then you take them to the landing page where they say, hey, click the call for your heating to get heating repair help right now or whatever, whatever your hook is on the landing page. My, again, guys, my point is, as long as everything lines up, that's how you're going to get the high conversion rates. And that's, out of all the campaign audits we do for all these clients, and all, everything we've done for years, we always come across the same problem. It's people are all over the place. Their campaigns are not structured neatly. The, the message match is off, which is what we just talked about, which is everything in line. So if we're talking about heating repair, it goes to a heating repair ad to a heating repair landing page with a heating repair call to action. If, if all if that's called message match, if that's off somewhere in the process, in the funnel, you're going to have really low shitty conversion rates and your client or you are not going to be happy because you're going to be wasting money. All right, so that's all I got for you guys today for the HVAC. It's really simple and you can see the types of ad groups and keywords you're going after. It's not hard as long as you have good message match and you're constantly testing your landing pages, A-B testing to make sure they're converting well. And... Um, Oh, one other thing. A lot of these, a lot of this traffic is, oh, it's only mobile. That's right. I thought it was only mobile. So we're only going after mobile traffic right now. So we want phone calls for the client. Form submissions typically are harder to get a hold of. So the client wants phone calls. All right. So these are mostly, I'd say, 90% phone calls. And um, besides that, if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comment section below this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We drop videos daily from uh, PPC case studies to Google Ads trainings, any, anything you guys need. All right. And if you want me to make a video, you have an idea for a video or something you want to learn or something you want to see, just drop that in the comment section below. All right, guys, I will catch you later.